Would you want to go to space? You know, as a meteorologist, I'd love to see the weather from space. So, yeah. yes. What about you? I, no. Don't. No. No, I'm good. <laughs> you're you're Keep on, them the on the ground. I don't even like flights, really. really? So, like, just stay in So, you're in the, the one on the aisle that's like, okay. And I'm the one in the window seat literally like this. Yeah, no, glued definitely to the not window. looking out. Well, Absolutely. I will say the next couple, at least the next day, we're going to see rain. So, if you try to look out the window and you're flying, Probably not going to see very much out there other than rainy Works for conditions. Me. I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I don't want to look it up. I'll give that for you <laughs> as we get into the next couple of days. Temperatures get back into the mid 40s. So we feel pretty normal for this time of year. And of course, ringing in 2024 back with dry and sunny skies. I know we've missed seeing the sun. So some of us got to see a little bit of it today. I didn't see it, so I need to see it as we get to maybe Saturday. Temperatures continue into the upper 40s, low 50s. Tomorrow, the highs are going to be right about this number. So what you see is kind of what you get because the clouds hang over us and then we start to get those showers. But no showers right now on radar, at least here. Looks like we are starting to see maybe a couple pop up in southern, I mean, excuse me, northern Virginia, but things are really fading out quickly. It's just the clouds that are thickening, and we watch our system that continues to bring snow off in the middle of the country. That'll bring us our moisture here in Maryland as we get into the rest of the, until we get to tomorrow. And finally, by the weekend, we dry well on out, and we don't really see any sort of rain until maybe later in 2024, at least not in the next seven days. Future temperatures and radar keep us dry, at least to start off Friday. There's 40s, up maybe close to 50, and then you see a couple scattered showers popping up from Virginia. It looks like maybe the models are starting to push us a little bit earlier into the afternoon and evening. So keep that in mind. You'll want that umbrella handy with you. Some of these showers will be slow moving. I do think the best shot's going to be south of Baltimore and across the eastern shore and seeing rain, I think, closer to the state line. We actually stay a bit on the drier side, but Saturday back into the 30s, feeling that colder air. And then eventually throughout the day, we get to the upper 40s. It is going to be a struggle to really move those temperatures up the thermometer. Sunshine is going to want to be our friend, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to make too much of a difference out there. And I know a lot of people getting ready for New Year's this weekend from Sunday to Monday. I'll just let you know Sunday we're looking pretty good temperatures in the upper 40s. But once that ball drops, I have a feeling we're going to be quite near freezing. So make sure you have that coat packed with you for any festivities. Monday looking good starting off the year pretty much near normal, almost a copy and paste day. It's likely your high temperature trend is only going to trend pretty much where we should be for this time of year, which is back into the mid to upper 40s. It is looking like January here in Maryland. We are in winter and we are feeling just like it. Just not really seeing any of that snow off in winter. The seven day forecast definitely shows the warmest temperature so far of the year being tomorrow. And then we drop back down the thermometer. Also tracking that slight chance of showers and no it's not very warm out there, to say the least. New Year, same setup, mostly dry skies with near normal temperatures as we get into the start of the new year.